Hey. What's happening, man? Cole, nice How are you chat. doing, Cole? Doing good. What's up? So I posted Cole's car on my Instagram and like 500 people replied, so we figured we'd do a walk around Cole's car in the dark, so deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It looks sick, man. Yeah, it's 94, bought it a year and a half ago, had under 63,000K on it when I bought it. And yeah, it was super, guy was super old school, just had it parked on the side of the road with a sale sign in it. So I was like, I'll take it, so. So you sold your house and then you <laughs> yeah. bought this car. Actually, actually I'm, I'm still with my parents, but yeah, I managed to make things work and you know, end up picking it up, so. It's awesome. Yeah, it's kind of doing a full initial D build with it. So kind of got the mad speed wheels, wing, I got the mad speed seats, all event. I have an A spec bumper at home waiting to go on. Just need to get some. Just need to get the fiberglass fixed and some lenses made and painted. And yeah, she should be full initial D spec pretty soon. So awesome! Gonna be hanging awesome. the gutter. Because I know, I know you did some work under there. As yeah. You're telling me. Oh wow, it's right hand drive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when you say it was hold up, hold up, hold. house, did you convert it to right hand drive or did? It was... No, it's already landed. Can, right hand drive. Wow. I'm from, I'm from Canada. Yeah. So... Yeah. We figured. <laughs> Dang. Man, that is way cleaner than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, so it's, it's a full, full street port built by Force Fed Racing out in Abbotsford, British Columbia. Um, some old school Night Sports twins that were like baby Turbonetics turbos, but they flow about 20% more air than stock. Um, AM water meth injection, Credi V mount, and she should be good for about 400 wheel while still being sequential. Brad. Wow. When did you get the motor done? Uh, Thursday. Looked, I was going to say, it looks brand new. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday. And I you drove down here. Yeah, so I literally, Wednesday night, I, they're missing the top, the front part of the Y pipe because I went over to the 99 spec uh, V mount kit. Mm -hmm. So they didn't have the front part of the night, the Y pipe. So I had to drive all the way up to Richmond, BC to go pick it up. Uh, so I left work at 1130, drove to Richmond, pick it, picked it up, got home at like two o'clock in the morning. Thursday morning, drove out to the shop, dropped it off. They cleaned it up, cleared it, installed it, did the brake in tune, uh, picked, drove it home that afternoon, put the front bumper on, drove here. Damn, dude. <laughs> so, I, 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 by the way, I appreciate the amount of effort that went into getting these wheels, because I've had wheels like this before, where you find one or two, not all four, so yeah. I'll tell you a story. So, I wanted to get a full set of Mazda Speed wheels, right? And a lot of guys have the, the MSO1s, but not a lot of people seem to have the MSO2s, and this is the wheel that Keisuke had on an initial D. So what I, I found a set in Japan, brought them over, they're a set of rears, so I was planning to look for a, a set of fronts. So I made a post in our rotary group chat, and he's like, hey, I got these sweet wheels. They're like, oh, another guy in the chat has them. So I messaged him, talking back and forth, and then eventually he was like, yeah, actually, you know what, seeing as you got this whole build going, I'll sell them to you. So I got the full set of silver wheels for 1500 bucks Canadian. And they even came with the raised center caps, which are like extremely rare. So wow, yeah. So I have a total of six Mazda Speed MSO2 wheels, just chilling. Just, just a couple spares. Just a couple spares. You, yeah. know, you never know. You got burners for the just, rear. Just, you got burners perfect. for the rear. Exactly. So, <laughs> which if this is the yard, do you, have, do you have two extra rears or fronts? Two extra rears. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's if, nice about these wheels is because they came off of a RX7 they fit stock body so no wheel spacers no rolling up the fenders it just clears so it's awesome man yeah super looks super cool i saw it parked out here this morning when i came in it was, i saw it driving in i was like what because i i don't i've never actually seen these wheels in person i like only like, oh there you like go J magazines is really rad it's so nice and you're good with the lighting <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is my pride and joy. Just kind of, yeah, literally picked it up. It's going to be a painful process doing the break-in period, but, you know, I know you got to break it in just to get it right, so. How long do you have to go? Uh, it's got 200 kilometers on it so far, and I Say got that it. in miles. Our guys don't know that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've, I don't know. It's okay, like, it's basically every 100 mile, <laughs> hey, every 100 clicks is 60 miles. So, that's 120 miles. Yeah, so, and I got roughly 1,500 kilometers to go, or 1,500 to do, or complete, for the engine to be completely broken in, and then we get to crank the boost on it, so. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet, man. Yeah, it's it's definitely definitely an, an eye-turner, that's for sure. And, like, the fact that you saw it out of all the other cars that were I here. Was, I parked over here, and I, was, I saw it when I was coming in, I was like, oh, that thing's super rad. I posted it, 
And then a bunch of people were like, started tagging and hitting me up. Yeah. And you're like, that's my car. Yeah. I was like, I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I literally woke up and a buddy of mine tagged me and I tagged you. And I was like, why the hell is he tagging me and you? <laughs> and I did some re I just looking through. I was like, holy crap, Scott o tagged, like saw my car. So It's awesome, man. Of it's course, I come to... FD and then before walking in FD I just walk through the parking lot and I'm like <laughs> I'm like oh shit Jay ZX like just like there's so many cool cars because yeah. all the I mean all the Canadian kids get all the cool J cars early. Yeah, yeah. It's, so I mean like my buddy Daryl who actually towed my car to the shop was here and he had a Jay ZX 100 here yeah. that he drove down. It's like uh, it's one of my favorites too. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. You guys get them 10 years earlier than we yeah. can. So yeah, like you could go to like your average Saturday night car meet and you see anything from S15 Sylvias yep. to 32 GTRs, Supras, NSXs, like right hand drive, left hand drive, like you just, you just get them all. So it's, it's awesome. It's super sick up there. So yeah. You just come down here stunting on us. <laughs> America <laughs> Junior coming on down here showing us what's up. Their uh, JDM imports. But yeah, this is my FD. So still That's got a little gorgeous. bit of work to go, but hopefully next year she'll be fully complete and where I want it. So guess what? If you guys come back, you'll see it in its completed form. So, awesome. Perfect. Cool, man. I appreciate Pleasure. it. Thank you. Sweet nice ride. to meet you, Thanks man. For sticking out for nice us. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Fucking awesome. Sweet. <laughs> This was what everybody loves, and everybody, because most of the people who follow me are clearly derelicts, were like, shit, no wheel locks, steal them. <laughs> <laughs>